truly one of the good YouTubers. I am sponsored by NordVPN. All jokes aside, NordVPN is a great VPN and if you go to nordvpn.com slash techdunk and use code techdunk, you will get 70% off and one month of free VPN. So that's amazing. Check out the description below and check out NordVPN, of course, after watching this video. So what is this video about? It is about VPNs in general and of course a bit of our sponsor NordVPN. So first I'm going to cover what VPNs are and what they can do for you. And then I go into NordVPN and why that's absolutely amazing and some personal opinions on VPNs. So first, what is a VPN? A VPN basically is a tunnel and you can see it as such because it tunnels all your network data and it will encrypt it so no one can see it. This way your government, your ISP and your mom cannot see what you're doing online. For example, if you're a journalist or if you do something else which has some work which could get criticism. For example, if your government blocks some sites or some information, you could still watch it from a VPN because you can tunnel your data through another country. For example, I'm Dutch and I want to go to the US for the internet. I'll connect to a server in the US and then I can see anything which is available in the US and is not available in the Netherlands. So that's the main feature of a VPN and how it works. It tunnels your data, encrypts it, and you will get access from another part of the world from their servers. Now this isn't the complete explanation of course, there is a lot more technical stuff. And if you want to read that, you can read it in the description below where I will put some links. So what could you use a VPN for? I know all of you immediately think, well, two things. Piracy, shady stuff on the deep web. Well, those two things are actually one of the use cases you could use it for. This is not the main reason to use VPN. It is mostly freedom and privacy. If you got a good VPN like NordVPN, you are truly anonymous online and you can connect to any server you want on about the whole world. So you can connect to the US or to the Philippines and they both work absolutely amazing. And that way you can connect to the internet from another server on pretty much any part of the world, which is pretty cool. Myself, I am lucky enough to don't have to worry about privacy and my government spying on me. But if you live in a country where your government hides some stuff like criticism will be censored, that could be a major annoyance, of course. And if you want to still see some stuff from outside of your country and you cannot do that, you can with a VPN because this tunnels your internet to something else you can see it as from their perspective. So for example, Russia, it does limit some stuff. You can simply connect a VPN, connect it to some country nearby, and you can use the internet as if you were in that country. So that's pretty great because your government, your ISP cannot see what you're doing. So for example, if you're a journalist, this can also be incredible because you can get all the news you want uh, without having to worry about any legal complaints. If you do live in a freer country, there are still benefits from using a VPN. One of those, for example, is if you are watching Netflix, some shows are limited to a few areas. For example, in the US, some shows might not be available. And if you want to watch them, you can do two things. You can get one, yet another subscription, or you can use two, a VPN to route to another place. So for example, if you connect to the UK from the US, you can watch the shows which are available in the UK and you cannot watch those anymore in the US until you disconnect from the VPN, of course. So that's pretty great. You can connect pretty much anywhere and get the content which is available from there. Here's something the VPNs won't tell you. You won't be any more protected of your data if you use public networks. If you're using a public network, you are already protected and you can see this on your browser, if you go to the top, there will be HTTPS. And the S here is really important. If it doesn't have an S, you won't be protected. But if it does have an S, you are pretty much secured and your password bank details will not be leaked. So understand that if you got HTTPS, which pretty much all websites have these days, you will not have any issues of your passwords being collected by a public network. Well, there is one benefit of using a VPN on public networks. They cannot see where you are. So public networks can see what site you visit, but they cannot see what you do on it. 
So if you fill in a password or a username, they cannot see this. If they even if they are a hacker, they can't see this. So keep this in mind. A VPN does not do anything more from protecting your password. That's already built in into the new website protocols, which is HTTPS. And this has been out for a long time already. So what are the benefits of using a big VPN like NordVPN? There actually are a few. First of all, the huge amount of servers. And this is probably the main selling point. You just got a ton of servers to choose from and they are really, really fast. So that's great. You got great internet speeds wherever you connect to. And of course, if you connect across half the world, it will be slower than your normal speed. But if you connect to a VPN from your own country or a neighboring country, the speed will actually be pretty good. In the background, I will put off some display of my internet speed using a VPN and not using a VPN. And you can see these speeds are basically identical. And this is just great because you are protected and you do not use a lot of bandwidth. Another great example I like to show with NordVPN is that the installation is super simple. You download the.exe or the app, you run it and it just works. I think I've used two VPNs on my computer in the past and one of them did work but was really slow so I stopped using it and the other I just couldn't get working because the setup, I don't know, I just couldn't get it to work. And I think I can say I'm pretty tech savvy so that means it just wasn't a great setup. But NordVPN I just launched it.exe, it installed and it works like a charm so that's incredible. The software of NordVPN is actually one of the greatest I've used, it is really simple. You click where you want to connect to, you connect to it. It's as simple as that. And for most users, that should be all you about use. There are a few options. One of them is a double VPN. So you connect to a VPN, which then connects to another VPN. Don't really think that is that useful because the first VPN should already encrypt everything and that should already be fine. But if you want to be extra secure and in here we could call it double Dutch. Um, it should just work already with one, but if you want the absolute max security from the VPN, you can use a double VPN. Another thing is peer-to-peer, -peer, and this is actually useful if you use peer-to-peer -peer systems on a regular basis. And if you do it, that might be really useful. Another option is Onion over VPN. I'm not sure how this works, but if you use this, you can uh, connect to Onion sites on a regular browser if you use it. I don't trust this to be honest because onion sites want a lot of privacy and that is what it's all about and most of people use the Tor browser to it. Um, so if I would like to use the onion sites I just use the Tor browser and you can of course connect to the VPN and then connect to Tor works absolutely fine but the Tor over VPN not sure how it works don't trust it myself but it should be totally fine but that's just me. If you get any experience with it, let me know in the comments below. I would love to know. But hey, there might be drawbacks to using a VPN. And you are actually not that right. There aren't any major drawbacks. The biggest one is speed. And if you use a great VPN with high speed servers, this isn't that much of an issue. So the speed is about the same. So that's totally fine. The other is a bit more important and that is that some servers might block a VPN. So Netflix used to do this, but NordVPN does work on Netflix, so that's pretty great. But some VPNs do not work on Netflix. And this sucks because if you wanted to use a VPN for Netflix, you simply could try it and it didn't work and then you were screwed. Luckily with NordVPN, if you do find a site which does not work, you can report it and you can get your monies back. So they have a 30 days money back guarantee. So if you ordered it and your sites do not work, you can get your money back and you are pretty much good to go. You tried, but it didn't cost any money. So that's pretty great and not really that much of an issue. Last but not least, would I use a VPN? Answer is no. I actually would not use a VPN because I don't think I really need it. I live in a country, the Netherlands, and freedom of speech is everywhere. You can say whatever you want. And on the internet, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Of course, no illegal stuff, but that should be obvious. So yeah, I don't need it. I don't need the extra privacy. My government doesn't do anything to censor us and our ISPs don't limit any bandwidth. So that's pretty great. 
Also, there aren't any regional only series I want to watch, so that's also not of an issue. So for me, I don't use it because I don't need to. But you might be in a different solution. And if you want the extra privacy, the extra anonymity and the extra security, NordVPN might be a great choice. And if it is, make sure to check out the description and go to nordvpn.com slash techdunk. And make sure to use the coupon code techdunk at checkout to get 70% off your order and one month of free NordVPN. So if this sounds tempting, just go to the description below and check it out. And if you are still watching, I do want to thank you. Not many people watch to the end, so that's great. If you want to see more software stuff, let me know in the comments below so I can cover more softwares than just emulators. So if you did, thank you and I'll see you in the next video.